Before I left, my homeroom teacher, Mr. Ziegler, bent down to say goodbye. He shook my hand and told me to be a good boy. He then whispered to me that he would tell my homeroom class the truth about me. Mr. Ziegler's statement meant the world to me. I so badly wanted to be liked, to be accepted by my class, my school, by everyone. The police officer had to nudge me through the door of the school office. Come on, David, we gotta go. I wiped my nose before I stepped through the door. A million thoughts raced through my mind, all of them bad. I was terrified of what the consequences would be when Mother found out. No one had ever crossed the Mother like this before. When she found out, I knew there would be hell to pay. As the police officer led me to his car, I could hear the sounds of all the school children playing in the yard during their lunch break. As we drove off, I twisted around in my seat to catch a glimpse of the schoolyard one last time. I left Thomas Edison Elementary School without having a single friend. But my only regret was that I didn't have a chance to say goodbye to my English teacher, Mrs. Woodworth, who was ill that day. During the time I was mother's prisoner, Mrs. Woodworth, without knowing, helped me escape my loneliness through the use of books. I had spent hundreds of hours in the dark reading books of high adventure. This somehow eased my pain.' 